These are the brand new top of the line Asus ZenBook Pros and they're designed for creative professionals who work on the go. But there is a big difference between this and every other laptop you can buy right now. And it's this, instead of a touch pad, down here you've got a touch screen. Plenty of companies have tried adding touch to laptops before, but this one might be the first that has a decent chance of going mainstream, at least as long as we're not talking about the MacBook Pros. Now, the screen pad, as they're calling it, is a 5.5 inch full HD display, and ordinarily it will just act just like a touch pad. Press F6, however, and it turns into a much more useful piece of kit altogether. Initially, it's an app launcher and you can use it to launch Windows apps. You can also use little mini programs on it, including a calculator, a music player, and a number key input because there isn't a hardware number key on this system. More importantly, however, there are contextual menus. So when you're in Word, for instance, you can look down here and do various jobs like changing the font, uh, underlining stuff, saving, changing the colors. And in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, Microsoft has added in the same contextual shortcuts that you can find on those MacBooks. As well as using the screen pad as its own device, you can also use it as a secondary display. Simply hit F6 again, and then you can drag browser windows or documents down onto the smaller screen. Admittedly, uh, there aren't gonna be too many instances where that's going to be useful. Maybe if you wanna cheekily watch uh, YouTube videos at work, otherwise you're probably best off using it as a additional controller rather than as a display. Now right now, app support for the screen pad is limited. The only other notable thing you can use with it is the YouTube player for Chrome. Load YouTube on the main screen and the transport controls will actually be available down on the screen pad to stop the video from getting cluttered up. But the company says that it will launch an SDK so that companies can start building and supporting this technology in the very near future. Aside from the screen pad, Asus has decided that if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And so in many ways, you'll see a lot of commonalities between this and last year's ZenBook Pro. The chip now goes up to a hexa-core Core i9. You can get 16 gigabytes of RAM. And very much like last year's, you can also pair it with NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1050 Ti graphics. This machine has been designed for creative professionals and so as a consequence is really aimed at people who are looking to drive multiple displays and it can run up to five displays if you count the screen pad as a display thanks to the um, Thunderbolt 3 ports on the side. Most importantly, this display is Pantone validated. It's a 4K display, and the company says that once paired with uh, Asus's own stylus, it will be ideal for designers and other people who like to work with their hands. As for the keyboard, it's a fairly standard chiclet model. Uh, having spent uh, five minutes playing with this, um, it's a very easy machine to learn to use. The build quality is really solid. And frankly, I'm looking forward to spending more time with it. Now, we don't know when this is coming out and we don't know how much it's going to cost, not yet. But we do know that this is the 15.6 inch version. To my left here is the 14 inch version. It basically has uh, pretty much the same specs. It's a little bit weaker in some regards, but it also comes with the screen pad. Now to find out everything about both of these laptops and all of the other ones that we're seeing at Computex 2018, head to engadget.com.